I thought the... I thought the robots, like, the mech stuff was, like, cold steel, but nope. The Royal Army spent the night searching with an entire airship squadron, but they could not find the massive Orbal doll, nor the girl uh, who rode off on it. The next day... Captain Amalthea, please, won't you cooperate with us? What kind of relationship did you have with that girl? And what do you know about the Society of Ouroboros? Captain Amalthea, Kanone, stop being stubborn. At this point, you're making things worse not only for yourself, but for your men as well. I can't believe that's what you want, is it? Hmm. We all, we all went into this prepared to lay down our lives. You'll need to come up with a better threat than that, Captain Schwartz. Stop trying to play the martyr. You saw it, same as any of us, that gigantic horrible weapon. Do you not understand that an organization which can field such a thing has infiltrated the kingdom? How can you not understand the gravity of this situation? Captain Amalthea, Colonel Richard is, in many ways, a lover of liberal. He wished for us to be able to stand independently against any threat we uh, would ever face. I know he wanted that, if nothing else. And now dark clouds gather in the skies above us. Can you not consider what he would do in this situ- Silence. Hmm? Silence, you pass! How dare you speak so casually of the colonel's feelings. You dogs gain your new oh-so-exalted positions by engineering his fall. Kanone, would you- Oh, I have plenty to say to you too, Julia. You must be relishing every second of this, watching, watching your longtime rival falling so far. Well, laugh then. Laugh and glow to your heart's content. That's enough, Kanone. I've crawled through enough, uh, through filth and given all of myself to the realization of the Colonel's dreams. Now that I've failed, I no longer have any a reason to live. So come on then, drag me to the firing line. Let's get this over with. That's a foolish thing to say, Kanone. Oh, it's Cassius. Pardon me. General. General, why are you... I needed to speak to Her Majesty about something related to our most recent case. I had some other business as well, so I thought I'd stop by. I only arrived in Gransol a few hours ago. I see. Thank you for your help when you're so busy, sir. Cassius Bright, the author of all of our suffering. So you've come to gloat over my fall too, have you? Here to see me riddled with gunfire? Well, I certainly uh, seem to be popular today. And here I was thinking I was actually as much of a lady killer as Richard. <sighs> How dare you, you... If it wasn't for you, the colonel, he would have... Ah, Cassius. I know you mean it in good fun, but don't tease her too much, yes? What? That was... How on earth... C colonel Colonel Richard? It's been some time, sir. Yes, it has met... Uh, Lieutenant Colonel Sid, Captain Schwartz. And it, it, it's good to see you safe as well, Kanone. Sir. I begged General Bright to allow me to leave my cell for a little while so I could visit. You see, I have something abso I absolutely must say to you, Kanone. T to me? Yes. I'm sorry, Kanone. I am very, so very sorry. I wrapped you up in my pride and narrow vision. I forced many bright young officers to shoulder the blame of the burden of terrible criminal deeds. I've wanted to apologize to all of you for a while now. No, sir. No. You forced us into nothing. We followed you freely. No. No, you didn't. Even if you think you followed of your own free will. To, in the end, I pressured you into following my desires. The responsibility is mine alone. This makes what happened uh, this past night my responsibility as well. Sir. No. 
So let me make a, a declaration. As of this moment, the Royal Army Intelligence Division is formally disbanded. All previous functions and duties are to be taken by up by new uh, by Army Headquarters, and all former staff should give Headquarters all due assistance. Kanone, Captain Amalthea, thank you for leading my division in uh, my absence until now. Sir, with all that said, you no longer need to do crazy things like this any longer. You don't need to spend your life attempting to rescue me. So please, don't say such terrible things as bring me before the firing line, please. Colonel, Sir, Alan... Reality kind of broke on her. I see. Yes, understood. Thank you very much. Alan, how'd it go? It seems as though Miss Amalthea is willing to answer questions. The army said they would contact the guild when they had something useful. Well, that's good. It's hard to believe they actually got her to talk. I hope they didn't do anything too unpleasant to her. She still deserves a little unpleasantness to mine. We can leave that to the army, I think. We have some things of our own to talk over. True enough. Well then, first allow me to provide you with your pay for this mission. This includes everything for all the small related tasks you had to undertake as well. Lost child. <coughs> Search for Reen. And attending the tea party. Say, Estelle, do you really think Reen could be... Yeah. She named herself as one of the Enforcers, the Angel of Slaughter. If she's calling herself that, there's no real... There's not really any doubt. There isn't, is there? Seriously? A little girl like that is one of the society's crazy... Crazy murder goons? And aren't enforcers supposed to be able to, like, break you with their pinky? You really, uh, don't think they're pulling some kind of trick on here? No. No. I'm pretty sure she's telling the truth. Joshua. Joshua was about Reen's age when Dad rescued him from the society. He told me he was made to kill way before then, even. You're kidding me. Either way, Reen ha really pulled the wool over our eyes. It seems she's the one who gave Amalthea the, that gospel and suggested they try another coup with that tank. Seems like she sent all those letters, too. I just don't get it, though. Why? I'm just guessing here, but maybe she thought it'd be fun. Fun? Reen put this experiment of hers as a tea party, right? And she set things uh, up so that lots of people, especially us, would participate. Sort of like an invitation. That's kind of the feeling I get. Man, that's crazy. I mean, yeah, we're here because of those letters, sure, but... I could o uh, easily believe our little kitten is capable of such guile. She was, after all, very clever in balancing the amount of sleeping drugs she gave us to us as well. Meaning we'd arrive at the dock just at the right time. She really did put us under some damn puppet strings. So she definitely... Uh, she's definitely the one who put you guys to sleep. Almost certainly. It was just after I ate one of those cookies Reen got for us at the department store that my mind went fuzzy. That was uh, one hell of a failure on our part. If she'd used poison, most of us would be having this conversation at the side of uh, she who dwells above. Yeah. The failure there is entirely my own. As the person in charge of the mission and the guild house, I should have been far more cautious. Please forgive me. Oh, come on, Elnin. Everyone's got a bit of blame for this. I don't think any of us uh, realized just how far the society was willing to go. Yeah. That giant archaism. Even Grandpa would have a really hard time making something like that. And even uh, then, too, to make it move like that? 
and and green. Oh, Tina. Come on, cheer up. Next time we see her, I'm dragging her out of the society. Feet first. What? Whoa, hang on. Five years ago, Dad rescued Joshua from the clutches of Horoboros, and we taught him it was, uh, what, what it was to be happy. I'm Cassius Bright's daughter, so you know what? I can totally do the same thing. I'm going to drag Reen out of the society of Ouroboros by the scruff of her neck if I have to. Estelle. Yeah. Yeah, we will. <laughs> that's our Estelle. Yeah, that's the spirit. Ah, uh, such indomitable optimism. <laughs> You're making it sound easy, Estelle. That's just how our Estelle is. Think even your father would be howled over by that optimism. Man, I'll, I'm assuming this is uh, Kevin. I'll say I'm practically head over heels for you at this point. Oh, Father Kevin, we've been waiting for you. So, what exactly is your role, Kevin? Yeah, sorry I'm late. Uh, Archbishop Current was uh, not exactly thrilled with me. He got on a really good lecture and uh, t tear, so he held me back a bit. Uh, what's up? Do I have egg on my face or something? Okay, so you aren't an Ouroboros skull uh, eater or whatever, but you never did answer my question. Who the hell are you really, Kevin? That is a good question. You never quite managed to give us a straight answer either, Father. You aren't really just some wandering priest, all right? right? I did promise I'd explain everything to you, Estelle, right? Allow me to reintroduce myself. <clears throat> My name is Kevin Graham, and I am a priest, but I am a priest of the uh, Gross Ritter of uh, the Septium Church. A pleasure to properly meet you all. A uh, Gross Ritter? Gra Grail Gross Ritter? Gross Ritter? Oh, beg your pardon, but... I would never imagine someone as young as you to be one of the Holy Grouse Ritter. <clears throat> Olivier, you know who they are. You're aware that the Church has a duty to take custody of all ancient Zemurian artifacts, yes? Investigation and retrieval of such items is the work of an arm of the Church called the Grouse Ritter, the Grail Knights. Their members uh, list not public no is not public knowledge but they are said to be artifact ex experts and combat masters to a man. Dang, you uh, know a lot about us. I don't know if uh, you'd call me a master, though. I'm kind of the fresh-faced uh, new guy on the team. Artifact retrieval. Oh, now I get it. That's why you had Mayor Dalmore's staff. Yeah, the Royal Army gave me that uh, for safekeeping when I first came to Liberal. Liberal and the Church have an agreement to hand over all artifacts found, you see. The whole reason Archbishop Current was uh, kind of ticked off is because I broke the that one, mind you. Now I see. Oh, I hope he wasn't too angry. He really saved us and there was, wasn't any other way. Yes, we hardly had uh, time to be picky. Thanks for that. Anyway, hopefully we can work together a bit more in the future, eh? If you learn anything new about Ouroboros, let's swap info again. Say, how do you know about Ouroboros anyway? Well, the main reason I came to Liberal was to investigate the society. Let's just say we've known, e uh, known about them for a while now. And to be more precise, I came to investigate the Shining Ring, the Oriole that they seem to be after. The Oriole, one of the holy septarian granted to the ancient Zemurian by Idios herself. The legendary artifact that uh, we thought slept beneath Gransel Castle. Yeah, exactly. There have been some people asking a whole lot of specific questions about the septarians across the entire continent. That kind of caught the church's eye, let me tell you. And then we learned about the whole... Uh, Bullabaloo with the uh, ruins beneath Gransel Castle and the Oriole during the coup. So they sent me, the fresh face, and uh, 
ex and uh, expendable new guy to see what's what. So that's the story. So hang on. You think the Oreo really isn't liberal? When we didn't find it beneath the castle, I thought it was just a legend after all. Do we even know what the hell this thing is beyond the whole shining ring deal? Figuring out the truth is, of the thing is part of my job. So yeah, I wanna... Uh, I wanted to come by today and explain what's up. If anything uh, more happens, let's say we work together. Now I get it. Yeah, alright, I'd be happy to. It'd be a big help for us too. This may just be the hand of fate at work. If something happens, do contact us, Father. Fantastico. Alright, think I gotta go get my ear chewed off some more. See ya, folks. And he's gone. He's quite good at putting people off balance in a different way than Olivier. <laughs> if you ask me, he still needs training. He could stand to be a bit more elegant. You realize there is some exactly zero elegance in your stream of uh, constant nonsense, right? Still, all this uh, interest in the Oriole. Do you think uh, this has something to do with the gospel experiments the society's been performing? From what we've heard, it is a definite possibility. On that note, that's three of Liberal's regions that have suffered gospel-related experiments now. I fear that neither Roland nor Bose will avoid their touch at this point. Good point. It seems like they have a pretty uh, calm. Things are pretty calm here now. You think it's time for us to move on? Meaning we should get uh, get to either Roland or Bose. Uh-oh. Well, looks like someone's decided for us. Hello? Yes, this is Gransel Branch of the Bracer Guild. What? Oh, I see. Understood. We'll be on our guard. Yes, take care. Something going on, Elden? They finally getting some, uh, something out of our little coup lover? No, this is different, though perhaps not unrelated. The Sky Bandits have appeared in Bose. What? The Intelligence Division and the Bandits? Heck of a busy night. Where do they show up? The fort they used as a base in the Bose Canyons, apparently. The army had uh, repurposed it as a training ground, but it seems they stole back the ship they used uh, to use an escape. You are kidding. Oh ho, that would be the one Mueller went to retrieve. Wait just a second. Isn't this, like, really convenient timing? Does society have a hand in this too? I can hardly deny the possibility at this point. In any case, it may be wise for you to travel to Bose. I'll say. That seems like a good plan as any. We have no uh, real way of knowing when or where the next crisis will strike. Yeah. Er, uh, wait, Shara, you're coming along? Now that the Intelligence Division has basically been dealt with, my job is done, more or less. It's pretty clear the agents of Ouroboros are beyond any one of us, so I thought I'd tag along to help out a bit, unless you object. Yeah, <laughs> yay, no, 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 not at all. Heh, <laughs> I'm looking forward to seeing the Silver Streak in action. At last, Shara has come willingly into my arms. Thank you, Shara's heart. <laughs> no, it's no trouble. Oh, Annalise, are you coming too? Sorry, I'm afraid not. Kurt's group uh, should be should be getting back from their training soon. I'm going to team up with them again. Oh, okay. Team up? Does that mean you'll be working against the society too? Yeah, I think we'll be, uh, going to look into finding their base. Er, base? Given Ouroboros' movements and actions today, they must have some sort of base of operations somewhere in Liberal. Until we find that and take it down, this game of cat and mouse will simply never end. I have a feeling we'll be working even more closely with the army in the weeks to come. A base, yes, for starters, they need somewhere to store and fix up that huge archaism. They'd have to have somewhere pretty decent just 
Uh, just for me meanings. Huh. Makes sense to have two anti-society teams going then. Well, I guess Kurt's team is going to need plenty of firepower too. Can't complain about them getting Annalise in that case. <laughs> Sorry. Once we find this, uh, these sneaky jerks, I'm sure we'll uh, need a lot of help to beat them. We'll fight them together, uh, together then, okay? Yeah, we will. Is it? No, <laughs> still more. Oh, this is... This is Ouroboros. Well, we found their HQ. It's just, we won't actually find their HQ. Hooray! Those silly little flying machines were no match for us. Thanks, Peter, uh... Peter Mater. You gotta sleep for a bit, okay? Welcome back, Reen. Hello! I'm back, I'm back. I went and did that experiment just like you asked. I know, you did a very good job. You got a little creative with it too, a tea party. It's cause you told me not to kill anyone this time. I had to do something to make it a little less boring. I thought a tea party would be lots of fun. And it was, we had tea and crumpets and explosions. How ladylike, Reen. So, how did the experiment itself go? I think it went okay. That mean guy from the church kind of spoiled it with a nasty trick. But it was fine otherwise. We can use them in a real combat if we want. Very good. I thought we could make lots of gospels though. How are we going to use them as weapons if we can't? Mass production of them isn't necessary. These tests are simply to determine the full capacity of the gospels. We aren't trying to make a weapon out of it. Really? Well, whatever. Doesn't matter to me either way. Have you found Joshua yet? I think we have. A number of the dolls we sent out to act as a diversion were destroyed. It's very likely he's responsible. So he's still hiding? Aww. I'm good at playing hide and seek, but even I'm not as good as Joshua. Mmm, I hate this. Why is he being so stubborn? Why can't he just come back home to the society? To us? Well... It's weird, too. That professor said it's all Estelle's fault Joshua won't come back. But she told me she's been looking for Joshua, too. Why would she say uh, that if she's keeping Joshua from coming back to us? Reen, I wouldn't be so quick to accept everything the professor says. Huh? Truth can change depending on one's perspective. Just as how people can see different shapes on the same moon. You mean like how some people can see a face and others see a crab? One sec. Sorry about that. That's right. The professor's truth may be different from your truth. You need to uh, reach for your own truth based on what you yourself see and feel. Um, sounds confusing, but I think I get it. I really like Estelle. I liked everyone, actually. They're nice. They gave me snacks. Tita was fun to play with, too. I don't even feel like murdering them. Very good. You're a good girl, Reen. Indeed, you're a very good girl, Reen, and a very good worker. Oh, hi, Professor and Campanella. Hello there, Reen. Looks like you had a good time in Gransel, hmm? Yeah, kinda. Aw, uh, if I knew you were coming, I would have invited you. It was a lot of fun, you know. Ha, huh, now I feel bad that I missed it. I had to put on a nice little puppet show for some lady bracers. It wasn't nearly as enjoyable as what you did, I think. <laughs> perhaps, perhaps you should have reserved the better seat ahead of time, Campanella. By the way, Reen, I couldn't help but overhear. You said you were rather fond of Estelle. Huh, <laughs> sure I am. She wasn't nearly as nasty a person as you said, Professor. She's nice. Ah, uh, ah, uh, Reen. It's not nice to put words in people's mouths. I never said she was a bad person. 
If anything, I agree with you. She is both a charming and fascinating young lady. I simply said that she is part of the reason Joshua has yet to return to us. Wouldn't you agree, Lo? I won't deny that she's part of the reason, yes. Well then, that should clear things up. What do you think, Reen? Given the circumstances, shouldn't we free make Estelle feel uh, make Estelle one of our friends? What? Make Estelle one of our friends? Yeah, yeah, that sounds like a lot of fun. She's kind of on the weak side right now, but if we teach her how to kill right, I bet she uh, she'd be really powerful. And if Stell joins us, Joshua will come back, right? I think it's safe to assume as much. Haha, <laughs> oh Professor, I always knew you had a great taste. Delicious. That's going a little too far with your jokes, Professor. Remember, all who serve the society must do so of their own free will. This is one of the core laws of Horoboros. You need not... You need not remind me of the Grandmaster's etiquettes, Lo. Do you really think that I, an Anguis, would break such a law? Neither you nor Joshua were forced into anything, were you? In any case, breaking her will would be so dissatisfying. When she joins us, it will be entirely of her own vo volition. Oh great, they're planning on making us all join us. Oh, please form your party. Hey, Shara. Uh, to ca play catch up, uh, Olivier and Chloe. One sec. All right. So Olivier and uh, I guess for a little bit, Shara. Ready. And next up, Bose. If we're ready, shall we head to the port? Well, the Royal Army's on the uh, bandit case too, remember? For once, we aren't feeling the squeeze to get somewhere. That's true. So let's take our time to finish up stuff and then go. Checking something. Okay, I'm not in chapter four yet. None to report. Royal Royal Avenue Monster. Powerful all target arts. Force suggests it may be weak to water arts. Got it. Uh let's go grab Chloe. It's starting to get full in here, huh? Let's go, you two. Nope, come on. There we go. Alright, so which way to the Royal Avenue? South. The gate's not going to be too useful in this. Alright, let's just find the find the thing it's got a bit of an area to explore so let's see does this continue yep this continues to be the Royal Avenue all right where is this thing let's check over here just in case Uh, it does not seem to be the case over here. Where could this monster be? I'm surprised Chapter 4 is not started yet. This takes me to, yep, takes me to a different area.
Where could it be? Maybe further along this way? Is this going to lead in? Uh, hello. There it is. Oh, it's just these birds. Another shower. None to worry about here. I fought these things in the, whatchamacallit, one of the towers. Oof, okay. Maybe start to worry a little bit. Alright guys, let's do it. I oh, know them are close. Okay, let's not do it. Okay, seriously. Take this. Craft. Dragoon Edge. Oh, come on. Really? Sniper shot. He's still trying to charge. Oh god, that's not a lot of damage. Oh god. Might be in trouble here. Called more allies. All right, what do you got? Mars Star. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Oh, you've definitely got to be kidding me. There goes Olivier. All right, uh, get back up. There's way too many of them. All right, uh, I'm gonna need you to back off. Uh, that tossed him away a little bit. Come on, Estelle, get up. Wow, okay. Of course. Thelus, get back up. Why is the gate taking so long to take his turn? Because I want to use final break, not... Not beat down. Okay, good. One of them fled. Alright, final break. Final break! 
Uh, even if it doesn't kill them, it brings them down some. Alright, uh... Heal. Okay, hopefully Chloe can... Good lord, look at all this. And she's not gonna go until after a bunch of them. That's stupid. Okay, good. Fine. We'll get to all of here when we can. Right now. Oh, good. This needs to be his turn again. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Art, Kyria, when is his turn? Now he just needs to survive a little bit. Hang in there, princess. Oh, good. They're coming after her. They're going after Estelle now. Great. Just great. There you go. Three more turns. Three more turns. All right, a gate. Knock out some numbers, please. Well, that's one of them down. All right, uh. Heal up. Uh, why are they all swarming Estelle? Mars Star. <sighs> Gate. This will heal both of them. Oh, sweet. He even revived Olivier. How long is he going to last? No time. Great. Thanks for the assist, Olivier. Oh, God. Uh, all right. Let's try to get him up. Of course, he's brought down to the bottom of the list. Hang in there. Of course. Oh boy. This battle sucks. Straight up. This just sucks. Um, they're not close enough to each other. Knock one out of line, I guess. There we go. Alright, we're off to a decent start now. Hi, 
Where did that get? What is the radius of this attack? It's freaking ridiculous. Well, we're only down to three birds. They're still gonna kill all of you as soon as I revive them, aren't they? Of course they are. Oh, no, that one missed. He's gonna charge. Another shower, that's gonna kill. Not just yet. Okay, that killed. Mmm. Wow, video game. Wow. Just wow. Alright, Estelle. Uh, you're a good buddy there. I think it's about to start raining. Rain on these things. They might die from it. Because we're so separated. I guess I can start attacking now. So spread apart. About a shower. Another one. Seriously, like sometimes they'll attack hit a gate. Sometimes they won't. Alright, that's two down. Maybe now I can actually breathe a little. Oh, it's going after a gate right now. Bring it. Viral Edge. Take your turn later. Another Mars Star. Get rid of him. We'll deal with only one bird. There we go. Alright, everything's back to being manageable again. Dallas, get back up. As long as that thing doesn't do the stupid uh, wing attack thing. Feather shower. Oh, he survived it. Holy cow. He actually did. Now that thing is gonna kill... That bird is gonna kill him, isn't it? Well, you know what? No. Draguna Edge. Arch. Gotta be kidding me, why can't Of course You now mm. Time to die. Good on you for healing yourself. Alright, uh, Thelas. Art, Tira. Fine, I'll delay a little bit. Oh, I can't, because he's dead. Right. <clears throat> I'll aqua bleed this thing. I probably could have gone for a blue impact, but. Eh. Now, does he get a say in anything? Spiral Edge. Nope. Dragoon Edge. Yep, it's raining. Great. I swear. Okay. Called an ally. I don't care. You know what? I'm just gonna go whack it. 
You feeling all right, Olivier? There, to make sure you actually stay alive and do something. Whew, all right. Finally, this man can actually do something. Go ahead, do your little rolling dive. You're still gonna die. <laughs> okay. That sucked. No, Mother Nature, you're wrong. That battle did suck. <laughs> Uh, I just started pouring harder as soon as I said that that battle sucked. Anyway, I'll meet you over there. God, I'm a long ways. Alright, we're back in the guild. It's pouring rain. Let's report it. And probably call it a day. D rank! We got the Haze Quartz! Finally! Good work. Oh, finally! I miss this thing. I miss having Haze. Holy cow. Okay, um... Hayes. Good to have you back. Oh my god. Seriously, now enemies can start leaving me alone. Alright, uh, I think I want to call it here, maybe. Actually, you know what? Nah, we'll, we'll deal with the rain. It's gonna, it's gonna rain. There's nothing I can do about that. Uh, let's see. No, you don't have anything I want. Where am I? Alright, there. That's what I want. I want to go to this, uh, to the inn. No, I don't. I'm just looking for ingredients. That's all I want. Ingredients. Where is the clerk? You there. Let me buy everything. Yes. Yes. Uh, let's just let's get out of here Actually, let's heal first So it'll cost a bit, but it should be fine Let's go. Let's go you Let me sleep Whew, Okay All right, so now we're going to go to Bose after a quick save. Alright, uh... Where am I going? I guess up here. Yeah, we never really went to the... To the airship field in the first game, so I uh, still kind of new to it. I know we went there to look for Reen, but meh. Alright, off we go. Alright, uh, let's see. I've done all the quests, right? We're good. It's like, I remember reading that there was six quests in Chapter 3. Yeah, that was because one of them was in Zeiss. You're the party he uh, bracers heading uh, for Bose, correct? Yeah, that's right. Very good. We received your fare from Elnin. Are you ready to check in? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go. Very well. I will contact the guild branch and call the rest of your party. Cell's group began to wait for the next passenger ship. Here we go, Tabose! Hooray! <clears throat> we got a full, like... Oh, hey, I just realized that we're just one short of having the full party from Trails, uh, the first game. Thank God, yes, we made it in time. 
Oh, it's Niall. Okay. Huh? Niall? And Dorothy? Estelle. Phew. Thought we'd missed you. We stopped by the guild, but they said you'd left already. Glad we managed to catch you before your flight. Uh, what's wrong? I thought we told you everything about the case last night. It ain't that. We got something to tell you personally. You mind speaking with us, uh, alone like me? Um, sure. Go ahead, Estelle. Hear them out. I'll be sure to save you a seat. Thanks, Shara. Good day then, Niall. Dorothy. Bye-bye. <laughs> oh, they're already boarding without us. Okay, what's this all, uh, all this about? What, so... Er, uh, Olivier, why are you still here? Ah, uh, think of me as a stone in the pavement, a butterfly gracing the wind. Please, speak freely. Pay me no mind. I swear. That's one hell of a talkative stone. Thank you, Shara. I thought this might be the case when I didn't see him board. Oh, Shara, just a... Let's get you to your seat, my dear Lenheim. He's the same as always, then. Huh, pretty much. Um... Dorothy, you look kind of out of it. Even more so than usual, I mean. What's wrong? I thought you were... off taking photos in Bose. Yeah, I, um, just got back this morning. Um, Estelle? Wait, I remember. You were off at that old fort in the Misty Valley. The one, uh, they're using as a military train... Wait, isn't that... Finally twigged it, uh, twigged to it, huh? That's the base the bandits raided last night. Dorothy here was literally on the scene when those thugs took their ship back. Oh man, okay. So you came out here to tell us what happened? Aw, thanks, I appreciate it. Uh, to tell you what happened, you might say that. Huh? Hell with it. Is a thousand words or a picture? Dorothy, hand it over. Yes, sir. Huh? Um, Estelle? Don't go crazy about this, okay? Pictures don't always tell the whole truth forever. Or something. Did I... Or did I just insult my son? Um... What's this all about? Why do you look so serious? I, am um, took this picture. Dorothy handed Estelle a single photograph. Uh, let's see, I recognize Miss Tomboy, the bandit over there. And that would be... What? I'm holding off on giving this photo to the army for the moment. I won't run it in the paper either. I'll let you deal with it how you want. Well, thanks, Niall. Wow. And that's how chapter three ends. What a hell of a note, huh? All right. Saving on the end. Uh, I really want to get to Bose. But I also really, really. Okay. Um. So I don't like doing this. But next time on The Legend of Heroes, Trails in the Sky, second chapter, we'll be figuring out just what the hell is going on. I mean, we've known for a while Joshua's been with the Sky Bandits, but how's Estelle going to take this? We'll see you guys next time.